a sloped area in your yard can seem like a waste of space or even a nuisance. Planning can be difficult, drainage issues can cause some major problems. And aside from sledding in the wintertime, it's just not practical. So what we're going to do is create a series of terraces along this hill to turn this slope into some useful garden beds. Our area we want to terrace is 18 feet long and we'll be creating three beds, so each one will be six feet. Drainage is a big issue on this slope so we will be installing drainage pipe that will catch water coming down the hill and divert it away from the house at each level. So we started by marking out an outline for our terrace location, and then we divided it into three equal sections for the garden beds. We're up against a brick wall here, so we don't have to worry as much about the water, but if you're up against existing siding, you'll want to use some flashing or some waterproof paint. Our terrace will be made of pressure-treated landscape timber, so we will use our plans to figure out how much timber we will need. If you want to make a retaining wall from stone instead, check out our video on retaining walls. We will try to use some of the soil that we dig out to backfill the terrace beds, but we will definitely need additional soil as well. We'll start here at the lowest point on the slope. We'll dig a trench, put this landscape timber in place, make it perfectly level, that way we can use it as a reference for the other three. I think we're good to go so we can start digging. Okay, now that we have our trench dug out, we can go ahead and take some of the paver base lay it inside here, level it with our long level, then we'll take our landscape timber, set it inside and go for a final level. So we're still a little low on this front side. So what I'm gonna do is take the shovel and then pull some of this material on back down here. That way we can start with it level from front to back. As I'm going along here and pulling some side to side, packing it down a little bit, I'm also checking for level. Make sure that we're right at the right height. If you see some voids in here, it's okay to just grab some of this and bring it down in. And it's almost there. So what we'll do now is just make some minor adjustments. We'll use our sledgehammer tap this down. You can even stand on them if you want. And there we go. That's good. All right, now that we have our timber in place and all level, what we'll do now is repeat the same steps we did right here. We'll dig the hole, put in the paper base, get it all level with the next three pieces. Okay, we have our timber set in place and level. We've locked them together with these timber screws. You may have noticed we've cut a notch in this front board. We're gonna use a section of perforated pipe like this one, run it across the front, then tee it into the side here. That way it'll run down here and drain our water out of the front. Now our next step is we'll drill a few holes in this timber, pound some rebar down through, that way it'll hold it in place. Next, we'll add timbers on top of our reference square. We want to offset our joints. We don't want these lines to match up. Okay, now that we have our second course installed, we can go ahead and install our perforated pipe. We'll start by laying down some landscape fabric. We'll put the pipe on top of that, then we'll spread gravel over the pipe, and then wrap the landscape fabric back over the top. We're using this landscape fabric to help prevent weeds and dirt and debris from entering our perforated pipe. You may notice we used a smaller piece of pressure treated lumber down here. It helps tie our box together and it also leaves room for this pipe to pass through. So I'm going to use some of this dirt that we've already dug out to help backfill this first garden bed. I'll continue to do so as I move up the hill. We won't have enough to fill the whole bed, but we'll top it off with some garden soil. Now that our first box is done, I went ahead and got started on the second one. And we're only going two courses high with this landscape timber. But if you're going three or more, you'll want to add what's called a dead man. A dead man runs perpendicular to the wall and sits down into the hill. On a steep slope, a dead man will prevent the wall from moving or bowing out. Since we're only going two courses high, we won't need a dead man on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the steps I did on the first box on the next two. 
Dig the trench for the bottom row, add paver base, place your timbers, level, screw together, drill holes and spike with rebar, lay the pipe, cover that with stone, place your other timbers offsetting the joints and screw together. Fill the bed with soil until it's level. Well, these garden beds are looking great. Now that the hard part's over comes the fun part. We can get to planting. I've chosen some bushes and plants to do well in partial shade for this area. If you're not sure which plants to choose, you can use the Lowe's Grow Together method. By choosing plants with the same number, you'll know which plants grow best together in the same area. We're all done. We've transformed our slope into some beautiful terraced garden beds. And we fixed our drainage issue. So if you have a slope that's giving you some trouble, grab some supplies from Lowe's and do it yourself.